Hello Real Life Kids, my name is Charlotte and this week we are in week six of our series on the parables which are little stories with big ideas and Jesus told little stories with big ideas and he wants us to hear them all. So this week we are looking at two parables, two stories, and they are the stories of the lost sheep and the lost coin. Now, if you haven't already listened to the story being read out by Sally or watched the video, go away and do that now and then come back and listen to the stories, the big ideas behind the stories. OK. So these stories are told at the beginning of Luke 15 by Jesus. Have you ever lost something? that was really important to you. What did you do? I imagine that you probably looked and looked until you found what you had lost. I hate losing things. It drives me crazy. I have been known to search until the early hours of the morning when I lose something because I just can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop wondering where I'd put it or where it might be. It drives me mad when I lose something. And today we're looking at two parables about people who lost something that was very important to them. In the first story, we see a shepherd. Now a shepherd was someone who looked after big groups of sheep. And a shepherd is responsible for making sure that the sheep are safe, that they don't wander off, that they've got enough grass to eat, that they don't get eaten by animals that think the sheep might make a yummy tea, um, and that they're generally safe and looked after. And in this story, we see a shepherd who has a hundred sheep and he has lost one of them. So I've got a sheep here. See my sheep? And what the shepherd does is he leaves the 99 sheep behind so that he can go and search for the one sheep that he's lost. And he keeps looking and looking and searching and searching until he finds the sheep that is lost and he brings it home. And when he brings it home to the rest of the sheep, the other 99, he celebrates and he calls all of his friends to celebrate with him too. And in the second story, we see a woman who had 10 silver coins. I've got a silver coin here. Um, now, each of these coins was worth a lot of money. It was about the amount of money that you could earn working for a whole day. And the woman counts up her coins and she realizes that instead of having 10, she's only got nine. So she's lost one of them. And she turns on a lamp so she can see in her house and she sweeps out the house and she looks in the corner. She looks high, she looks low, she looks under things. She doesn't stop looking until she finds the silver coin that she'd lost. And when she finally finds it, she calls all of her friends to celebrate that she'd found the one coin that she'd lost. Even though she still had the other nine coins, she didn't stop looking until she found the tenth. So the big ideas behind these stories are these. Just like the sheep to the shepherd and the coin to the woman, we are all so special to God. It doesn't matter that there are millions, even billions of other children all over the planet. Each of us is special to God and he loves those that are lost who don't know him as much as he loves those who already know him and have been found already. The shepherd and the woman in the parables go looking for what they'd lost and they look hard. They don't stop looking until they find what they've lost. They look everywhere and they search for ages until they find the sheep and the coin. And God's love for us is like that. It is overwhelming, never ending. We are God's children, but sometimes we get lost. And what that means is either we don't yet know him, we don't yet know him as our Lord and Saviour, or we might have known him, but we've decided to wander away. And when that happens, when we're lost to God, he doesn't ever give up on us. He loves us so much that he searches for us, he calls us back, and he doesn't stop searching for us, running after us until we're found. And the Bible tells us that God sent his son Jesus to seek and save the lost. Now, the final teaching point, when we are found by God, there is a huge, huge 
celebration, just like the shepherd and the woman in the story were so happy and so thankful that they found what they'd lost and they called all of their friends to celebrate with them. The Bible tells us that when the lost come home to God, there is rejoicing and celebrating in heaven. Knowing God and coming home to him is cause for a huge party and a celebration. So Real Life Kids, those are your big ideas behind the little stories this week. I hope you enjoyed listening to that. I hope you will remember those parables and the big ideas behind the little stories. Have a great week and we will see you next week for the next part of our series on the stories Jesus told. Take care. Bye.